Hello and welcome back to another Humble Fungus training video. I know you're quite excited after watching the other ones. Now we're going to make some millet. By now you've realized you've made a terrible mistake with your employment because if today is your first day at the Humble Fungus, you get to make millet. Sorry. It's like Fight Club but with bird seed in your underwear. Okay, so let me break this down, super simple. Every single one of these green bags is, is exactly the same. It's like the Nine Inch Nails song, go listen to it, it's really good. So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to count out six. So I'm gonna fill one pressure cooker. Normally I prep these in bulk, Today's your first day. I've probably handed you a whole bunch of these crates. These crates are our grain crates. You can see that they are labeled. 24 per crate. That's if you fill a bag, fold it over, and stack them. Two. Boom. But for this video, I'm going to show you how to do precisely one pressure cooker. All right. Scale. Um, hopefully by the time you're employed with us, I've gone and spent actual money on good scales. Um, but until then, we have this. This is the power of grayscale. Um, turn it on and set it to grams and tear it out. You know, reset it to zero. Alright, zeroed out. Great. Now, we're going to go and get one of these bags. This is a 14 unicorn bag. It's about four inches across, really long. I'm gonna go get these. They're over on a shelf with the other unicorn bags. So, now, the recipe. This is real simple. This is whole white milk. I poured it into a tub. I have not rinsed it. I have not cleaned it. I have not soaked it, I have not pet it, I haven't told it it's good, I haven't insulted it, I haven't invited it over to the parents for dinner to meet them. No, this is literally pour in the bag filthy millet. The reason why is it doesn't matter if it's dirty, it doesn't matter if there are floaters, a mycelium does not care. What you're going to do is you're going to grab a scoop and you're going to put 1,000 1,000, and a little bit over is okay, but 1,000 grams of whole white millet into this bag. That came out at 1,151. I'm going to pour some out. I poured out too much. Thousand twenty grams. Doesn't have to be precisely a thousand. Little over is okay. Never under. Thousand. Now, rather than saving you, oh, actually, I do have to make them all. I realized I have to show you how to actually load the pressure. Cooker. So, while we're doing this, we're going to talk about cook times. The pressure cooker, the wall of pressure cookers behind me, hopefully by now we've already explained that they are hot and dangerous. Uh, but, each one of those pressure cookers can hold six filled fillet bags. Only six, do not try to put more. Less is okay, but never more. That's number one. Number two is you never cook any shorter than two and a half hours. If the 
If the hot plates turn off at one and a half hours, you reset the entire clock. Take the lid off the pot, put the water back in, put the pot back on the hot plate, and reset your two and a half hour clock. It is not cumulative. You cannot stop, let it cool, let it depressurize, and then get back up to the pressure and keep cooking. It has to be a continuous two and a half hours. Um, now, if you, it's really late or if you're tired or something else like that, and you want to stop and cook halfway through and pick it up in the morning, you can just turn them off. Just remember to refill the water. Otherwise, you'll melt the bags and they'll burst and they'll pop and everyone will be sad. Did I weigh that? I did. So, bag folding pro tip. Don't fold the filter patches to the inside of the bag. We have learned this the hard way a couple of times. If you fold the filter patch into the interior of the bag, sometimes when it gets superheated, this will get loose and it will stick. So when you try to peel this back up after the cook, it tears the patch away. You may not notice that it's tore the patch away leading to contamination issues. Eventually we'll have a robot that can fill these bags. Until then, that's you. Are you lucky? The hardest part of this is actually getting the bags open. And if you try to escape into the parking lot, like the Roomba, don't worry. I've got a shock collar on you. One, two, three, four. I need two more. Sorry. Take a little bit longer because I have to talk. So cook times, two and a half hours every cook. Now, here's a pro tip. Behind me are the induction burners. The induction burners have a safety feature. They automatically shut off after two hours of runtime. Now, I haven't figured out how to use the timer function because I'm lazy, and maybe it's got a timer function that'll work. But, until then, what you gotta do is when they hit pressure, just power cycle the pot, right? Just power cycle the pad and reset it back down, and boom, you'll have most of your cook time. If they shut off, turn it back on, you're good. Now, startup temperature on those squeeze max uh, is 1800 watts, max. Steady runtime at around 15, 16, uh, around 16 PSI is 1,000 watts, no less. Even if the dial says that it's at 20 PSI, it's probably clogged. I know, because I forget to clean them all the time. That's why you should watch my pressure cooker training video, which I should probably watch myself on a daily basis. six bags. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way so you'll have a full field of view. Now, we're going to go get the pressure cooker that I actually cleaned and change the water in in the previous video on pressure cooker maintenance. Zoomy, 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 zoomy!
As you can see, I have cleaned it and changed the water. I have also scrubbed off the trivet. It still smells like millet in here. It will always smell like millet. Deal with it. Um, you will too. Anyways, there's also about three and a half liters of water in there. Always double check the water. So, <clears throat> next stop in our recipe, and I'll actually bring it over here now that I'm not using it right now, is hydrating the bags. Honestly, this sucks rocks. There's no good way of doing it. So, fill a bucket with water. Grab the 500 ml, milliliter, maybe a bottle. Fill it up to a little range here, which is precisely 500 milliliters or 500 grams of water. Carefully pour it in. The bags like to fold and collapse on themselves. And just think, we have 12 pressure cookers. You get to do this a whole bunch every day. It's amazing. This country brings good all for good energy to make millet. Don't worry. If you're not a fan of millet, or you just find that working here, you just have a lot of millet, they carry in and out of everything, get some chickens. Chickens love millet. And if you have any on you, they'll knock you out and take it. And that's how I look up, not wearing any underwear. probably wondering, okay, does he let them soak in the bag? Does he let them absorb the moisture? Does he add anything else? No. Again, 1,000 grams of millet, 500 grams of water, or 500 milliliters. Same diff. Now, these you're going to take, and you're going to quickly realize that these are water balloons. Squishy, 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 squishy. If you're not careful, they will fall over and spill all over the place and you'll have wet millet everywhere, which is worse than normal millet. Um, so you're gonna very carefully, or not so carefully, if you've done this a whole bunch, move that out of the way. Take it. Get this nice and folded. It's nice and easy on these bags because the uh, plastic is actually thicker. Take it. Hold it over like that. Give it the captain the car. And you're going to take it. You're going to take this first bag that you just folded over. You're going to place it in the center of the trivet. Why? Trivets only have three feet. That's where try bent. Try three. That's where it comes from. You're going to put this in the center. And the reason why is because if you put it on the side, the next time you look over here, it's going to have fallen in the water and face planted. You'll be sad. Face to the center, like that. Now, you probably saw me do something without explaining, which is a filter patch. We've discovered that if you fold the filter patch inside, you have a non-zero chance of it sticking to the other plastic. That's why we fold them out. I learned this the hard way by losing a pot of bags. And then we had master's mix blocks, the 10 pound ones, <clears throat> where their uh, filter patches had just adhered down here and so we pulled it back. John Travolta in the face off. Or Nicholas Cage, whichever character you prefer. They're all the same. Trying to get this set up so I can actually show you the layout.
Hopefully I can edit that right, I got a phone call. All right, so let me show you how I packed this bag so far. We've got one, two, three, four bags in here. You can see that the filter patches in this case are all facing against the side wall. Uh, I just happen to like that. Uh, it also it just happens to hold the bag fold down real nice. So we take it, fold it down, make sure that it's nice and kind of tucked up against the bag. Just slide it in. Now you get to do this 11 more times. Isn't this your lucky day? All right, there. This is packed. Now we're gonna put on the lid, right? No, we're gonna go over there and get one of the metal plates or a plate, put it on top of this. Why? Because when these bags are under pressure, they superheat, they lose their form, they kind of melt. Bob's your uncle, that will foul the gauges, blow up your stuff, not gonna feel happy. Then, you're going to have the age old struggle of finding the right, oh, you got the pop. That's one pot. Now, just remember on the ramp up, you don't want the weight on it, and uh, it's not at pressure until there is like water and steam and stuff like spraying out of this. You're gonna go over there, put it on one of the induction burners at 1800 watts, wait till it hits pressure, drop the weight. 